Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. Uh, it's not 201 consecutive trades. We do take into account losses. So further details about how to join us for little as $9 a month and also get access to our exclusive in-depth strategy video. Information is available in the description below. In the previous video, I featured the top 10 questions with regard to MMTLP, predictions, uh, price targets, squeeze potential and uh, other information. So please refer back to the previous video for an in-depth uh, analysis of the top 10 questions. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at MMTLP with some updates with regard to FUD and what's happening so far in terms of the latest updates. And we're also going to be looking at tick symbol MULN, so stay tuned for that. Um, before we do that, let's have a quick look at what's happening in the market. So we can see here some important headlines. First of all, with regard to Europe, Europe is closing higher. Uh, the new prime minister was announced, uh, Rishi Sunak, so good luck to him. He, he, he certainly needs to uh, input some ethics in, or, in order to uh, get the economy going and uh, hopefully get some um, positive uh, reactions from the market. There was also some news uh, from China stocks and uh, there's, uh, these uh, were, have been hit quite heavily. Uh, the new Chinese leader has secured a third term, but uh, stocks such as NEO, uh, BABA and uh, many of the other Chinese stocks have taken a significant hit today. With regards to the US stocks, these have uh, done fairly well today. The markets have uh, opened higher and maintained uh, a good uh, level of uh, consistency, consistency in the green today. Uh, and obviously we are in a huge, huge week for earnings. So let's have a quick look at the uh, heat map at time of editing. We can see again, uh, apart from Tesla, the uh, vast majority of the other stocks uh, have done quite well. Apple is up, Google is up, Microsoft is up, uh, and uh, much, much better today, uh, day today. Um, before we look, make, make a start on MMTLP, first of all, I'm just going to share with you a uh, significant dip that we saw today. This stock on the screen here, tick symbol TCDA, also known as Trakida, was down at one point very, very close to 95%. So uh, before, prior, before it was trading at $10.88 and then it went down to 56 cents. So what, what was the reason for this? This is a stock that had negative news uh, with regard to the um, uh, phase three trial. So this uh, is um, something that was um, the main reason why the stock got hit. Let's have a quick look at the chart. So on the, on the chart here, we can say, you can see there, huge huge uh, drop in the rsi huge drop in the in the chart so it's gone from trading uh, close to 11 dollars to trading at 58 cents so this is one of the key things that everybody needs to remember when training on the stock market you must only invest with money you're prepared to lose and you must obviously be aware of the risk of trading and uh, especially in bio stocks risk are much much higher Let's now make a start by having a look at MMTLP. We're going to start by having a look at the chart. So if we have a look at the right hand side for today, 24th of uh, October 2022, if you look at market open, there was a quite a significant dip at one point. It went very, very close to four dollars. So congratulations to everybody who caught the dip. I am aware a number of people caught this close to four dollars and forty or dollars and fifty, but it did go to four dollars and eight. Uh, so uh, since then it has it did recover at one point it was trading in excess of five dollars and twenty so um, it has still closed in the green uh, i think it actually closed at four dollars and ninety so uh, let's have a quick look at um analysis from tony uh, from market moves in terms of what happened in the chart and what he stated here is look looks like we weathered the morning short attack really well expecting s1 approval soon if you're along, you might want to remember these times to retell your story to your grandkids. Uh, so let's uh, finish off here in terms of the data by having a look at what's happening with regards to the short borrowing. And we can see uh, uh, what's interesting is on the left hand side, you'll see short borrow fee went down from 34.1% to 21.3%. And uh, we can see the shorts managed to take advantage of 5,000 more shares. So what are they worried about? Why don't they, they take the rest of them? There's 30,000 more shares available. You're getting to getting at discount. 
uh, or are they maybe worried about the S1 approval that will be coming soon uh, and obviously changing the whole dynamics of the situation. Let's now have an update with regard to uh, predictions for S1 approval. So uh, in the previous video, I did share with you uh, I, that I am expecting approval by the end of the week, possibly Thursday, maybe even Friday. But let's have a look at a different perspective. This is from Mark Twain. So shout out to Mark and what he said, stated here. He has got uh, taken out his crystal ball and he has stated that the S1 and amendments will be approved on Halloween. So we're talking about Monday, October the 31st. 10 days before it goes private on Monday, November the 14th. Last day of trading is going to be Friday, November the 11th. So remember, this is a prediction from Mark. Uh, he's also uh, tagged in here, Michael Myers, uh, saying he's coming to get you shorties. So um, uh, maybe the shorties need to be scared here because obviously Michael Myers always comes back. Now I'd like to give a shout out to my friend, The Right Brain Trader, for another excellent video here titled, Let the Games Begin. So uh, go ahead and check this video out and uh, in this video there will also be a special cameo appearance by myself and also Tony from Market Moves. So go ahead and check this excellent video out. I'm also going to uh, give a shout out here to um, uh, a, uh, another sub here added on Reddit. So go ahead and join this sub. This sub is for Nextbridge Hydrocarbon. So once uh, we have the spin out and uh, we no longer have MMTLP. Uh, the sub for MMAT will no longer be uh, dealing with Nextbridge Hydrocarbons. So hopefully this is the one uh, that will be the official one used by the vast majority of people uh, going into the spin out and holding their share. So go ahead and check this out. And uh, finally, I'd like to give a shout out to the Stock Genius. Uh, he stated here, the, sh the short squeeze is over. Uh, and obviously the end is near so um, uh, now it looks like uh, he has changed his mind and what he stated here it's all happening now short squeeze this week so uh, it looks like the short genius uh, sorry the alpha genius or the stock genius whatever he's calling himself or the stock dog uh, he has changed his mind and now he's saying there is a squeeze previously saying it wasn't a squeeze before he was saying it was a common stock now he's saying it's a preference share so uh, he needs to make his mind up now I'm going to make a start by having a look at Tixum MULN. There has been some positive developments. So before we look at them, quick shout out to the Discord and special thanks to one of the members who shared some uh, excellent DD with regard to the stock. And uh, the Discord members were exclusively able to take advantage of this. Uh, we called this out uh, prior to trading today here uh, in the morning. And this was also added to our weekly watch list. You'll be able to see along with MMTLP, MULN, IMPP. Uh, which had excellent results uh, today in their earnings. So check them, them out. So let's start by having a look at what happened here today uh, from Mullen Automotive. First of all, we're going to have a look at uh, one of the tweets that they just posted. And what you can see here is uh, Mullen Automotive is announcing the new iGo, which is trademark new urban commercial electric delivery vehicle available now to European markets. So they've gone ahead of the game in terms of uh, uh, accessing the European markets, especially if we compare them with uh, NEO. Uh, so um, excellent news here. So let's have a look at the details of what, what's happening. So if we look at the press release from the company, we can say a see here a commercial EV that is EU standard, uh, certified and ready for sale in the UK, Germany, Spain, France and Ireland with the first vehicles set for Germany in December 2022 starting price of $11,999. So that, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, one of the cheapest prices I've seen for an EV vehicle, plus VAT and local transportation. The company is engaged in licensing discussions with potential partners. So this is groundbreaking news. I think we have a, a sleeping giant here on our hands and uh, you, I'm sure you're all aware this also is currently a penny stock. So let's have a look at the details here, dated October the 24th. Uh, this uh, vehicle that they're saying here is perfect for your urban European markets. The IGO bridges the gap between the growing demand for quick deliveries and space constraints found throughout the dense cities of Europe. So uh, there's, there's going to be ex an exceptionally high demand for uh, the uh, urban market. Germany, uh, the company has seized the opportunity to extend its branding marketing in the European market. Uh, so this vehicle is going to have a range of approximately 124 miles. Uh, it can easily handle stop and go, weaving in, out, weaving in and out of the European streets. It was built with the intention of getting to the 
customer's door faster. Uh, so obviously it's purely EV, no um, uh, pollution uh, complications uh, needed uh, compared to the other vehicles and it's going to have a starting price we can see here, very affordable, $11,999 plus VAT. Uh, so um, this is uh, tremendous news for Mullen Automotive. Let's now have a look at the chart for Mullen Automotive and the stock did also go up quite considerably last week. At one, a few, just a few days ago, this was trading close to uh, 20 cents. And we can see right now, uh, close of play today, it closed at 50 cents. Uh, so uh, from the previous week, it is up well in excess of 100%. So just today, it was up in excess of 33.48%. Uh, at one point, it was trading at 54 cents. So tremendous news here for uh, people investing in Mullen Automotive. So I am aware that many people in the Discord uh, are also invested in this stock. So final tweet from the company here. Uh, again, also positive news today. Mullen 5 Tour starts cruising this week. Uh, so this is also going to give the company some excellent exposure going forward. And finally, if anybody would like to get access to our weekly watch list, which was made uh, available prior to trading on the Monday, as well as our daily stock alerts, which are shared with the members exclusively also prior to trading, uh, you can certainly consider joining us uh, for as little as $9 a month. So, th so far this week, we've called out stocks, uh, which include Mullen Automotive, ABML, which has uh, done exceptionally well today. We've obviously, we, you, I'm sure you're aware that we, uh, M MMTLP is also one that we have been uh, focusing on. We also called out uh, IMPP. Last week we called out Tixamal PEGY, which was up uh, close to 50% from the Wednesday, but then came down. So obviously the key is to take profits where you can. So uh, the details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.